Very happy to be here tonight. I'm Ellen Healy. I'm very pleased to receive the Spirit of Immaculate Heart Award because I have been here longer than Immaculate Heart has. I was one of the founding members and have been here ever since. My seven children went to school and always I have been interested in education and particularly in faith formation for adults. I began as a volunteer in the library that was just being founded by a rosary hedge. So we had three different, very, very small locations for the library. From that, I moved on to the Board of Education when with a big change from an all-nun school to a lay, lay teacher school. Then I turned my interest to adult faith formation. Now then, that's when I ran into the problem that Immaculate Heart always has, which is the matter of not enough space. For years, I agitated for more adult meeting space and space for adults to uh, uh, learn. So, of course, that led to my position on the Facility Planning Committee because the Facility Planning Committee was always trying to find more space. That was a great learning experience, and I think the heart of Immaculate Heart's success is the planning that we always have done, and that is brought on by the fact we never have enough room. I think also that that is the spirit of Immaculate Heart. By not having enough room, we have to be inventive and patient with each other because we never have enough room. I think it is part of the character of the parish. Also, the fact that we are a very small geographic parish makes it a very tight community. And maybe that's why you all remember me. I was surprised to receive this award. I didn't think anyone remembered me. Another thing that's significant about the parish that I've always appreciated is the fact that the traditional seems to sit easily next to the new. I think that has kept us vital through the years, and that is something I appreciate greatly about the parish. One other thing I'd like to mention is the, the fact that liturgy, meaningful, reverent liturgy, has been important in the parish from the very beginning. The founding fathers, including my own father, insisted that Immaculate Heart build, first of all, after the school, build a permanent church instead of a temporary church, which all the surrounding parishes had done, which they had to live with for many, many years. I think that that is the center of the life in Immaculate Heart, something I've appreciated through the years I've, as I've had many baptisms, weddings, and funerals in this wonderful church that I love so much. Again, thank you very much for the award. I'm delighted to be here, and I'm very pleased that someone still remembers me.